I hope you're well. It's the 19th of January. We're back in my car again. <laughs> um, and I've had a really good day today, though I'm feeling like this pit of stress in my stomach. I know it's just from what I'm thinking, but um, it's really challenging when it's just like this underlying feeling that doesn't seem to go away at least it's just been like the last couple of hours and it's been because I've been writing my sales page for my online course your perfect semester which I'm so excited about I have just been struggling or not even struggling to word it um, and to have it clearly like what the course actually is who it's for um, everything that you'll get with it all of that like that's what I'm explaining and um, I have on my plan today and a few hours tomorrow to get it finished and it's one of those things like I'm really getting close to oh, the final steps of having this course ready to be offered and um, and that's just like scary because well I don't I don't know how to describe it not actually scary but at the same time like I'm very open to failure I can put it out and have no one be interested in it and all of that which I can just feel I'm tr my brain's just trying to avoid that situation by failing ahead of time and never putting it out so I feel like now that this is one of the final steps of getting my course, like to offer it to you guys um, and to teach you how I've actually finally stopped procrastinating, which is absolutely life changing. Doesn't mean it's always easy though <laughs> um, to stick to the plan, but it's changed my life and I'm so excited to be teaching it. But still, I've just found today that I've just been so um so just like trying to get everything worded right and that I'm it's really going to be important that I only give myself the time I've allocated because I have given myself enough time but it's just one of those things I could be writing it for the next month if I let myself and I don't want to let myself and the beauty of all of this online stuff is I can always change it I just need to have something that's good enough to put out there not the perfect page the perfect offer and um, it's really easy to get caught in the trap of thinking that you know it has to be perfect from the first time because if people see it and it's not perfect then they'll never ever be one of my students and um, all of that kind of thing and so it's better to make no impression than to make a bad first impression but I know that I can write something good enough in the time I've given myself and I just need to really honor that time and actually just get it done in that amount of time because any extra time is just time that I'm downing myself and in my head about it or like finicking like editing words that don't actually make that much difference so yeah I can just feel like in my stomach like I'm just having these in the background thoughts about like I'm not going to be able to articulate what I'm trying to offer and and all of that kind of thing and that's making me those thoughts are making me feel nervous about it and worried that I won't get it done tomorrow but I know I can get it done tomorrow if I just get it done if I don't indulge in the self-doubt one thing actually I hadn't been thinking of before but I will be having in mind tomorrow sorry again if you don't watch these often it's always super bright and I really struggle to do anything about it um, at this time of day it's maybe hard to see me but anyway um, one thing I'm going to be doing tomorrow is really making sure I'm thinking of myself as my own employee so the boss me has said this is the work that I want you to do this um, to write this information about the course and I just now need to be my own little employee and get it 
done because if I gave this task to someone else and they were like, I'm sorry, it took me twice the time. I was just really unsure of myself and didn't know what to say and all of that. Like, I just, I wouldn't want to pay for that. Like, I wouldn't want to pay for someone to, to do that and I'm not going to do that to myself. Sorry, I don't know how to fix this. Ah, I've just made it worse. Um, <laughs> that's hopefully a bit better. So, yeah, so that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. Steve and I are going to our neighbor's place. They have a, a like a neighborhood meetup. And since we're new to the to the house, we've been there for a couple of months now. Um, we're going to meet everyone. And then after that, I'm going to get my sales page done and finished so that you guys can actually do the course and I know so many of you have already emailed me and said that you're really excited about it so I'm really excited too and I just have to get over myself um oh my god ah <laughs> um get over myself enough to actually offer it to you guys and I've gotten a lot better at that and it's funny when I just think back to the launch of Dream Habit, my first course. It was just such a drama. Like, the self-doubt, I, at that, that time, I just didn't know how to pull myself out of it like I do now. And I didn't have nearly, like, I didn't have the planning stuff that I'm teaching in the course. And it was just a roller coaster ride. And this time, it's just been really stress-free. And I've still had the self-doubt. Um, probably a bit less than the first one but it still comes up and I've just been better at managing it and not not listening to it not letting it slow me down or as little as I possibly can so yeah that's what I've been working on today I went to the gym this morning did my workout did my morning routine meditation self-coaching scholars all of that stuff and I took longer again on self-coaching scholars um, than I had planned and so when I'm going to do my planning this Sunday for next week I'm going to give myself um, a half hour extra each morning to do that because I really believe that the extra 30 minutes managing my mind um, is much more valuable than 30 minutes of like productivity time because I'm so much more productive if my mind's under control so I'm going to be trying that out next week and just seeing what it feels like and yeah that's basically all I have to update you guys on um yeah I'm really 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 excited about this course and I'm really proud of myself as well which is a great feeling and I also know that I'm living what I teach which is also a great feeling. I had so much imposter syndrome around dream habit, which I shouldn't have had in the sense that I I like convinced myself that I wasn't I didn't know enough to share what I was teaching when that really wasn't true, but I just have had a different mindset this time and I'm like for a while I let that experience scare me off. I was like I'm never I'm not going to create another online course for ages and then I kind of accidentally ended up here by turning my free email challenge into a mini course and then updating that mini course and then this is the second update to it which is actually now a complete overhaul and it's completely something different but um, maybe that's why it's been less stressful because I haven't been like I have to create this perfect course on procrastination it's just been what I've learned and I don't know it's just kind of happened this way so yeah I'm really really pleased with it and um, just getting better at not putting a lot of pressure on myself to get certain results and that um, that you know my experience of life it's going to be pretty similar whether I achieve my goal or not because it just depends on what I'm thinking and I know we all think that when your life's good then you'd only be thinking good things but in my experience
experience, my brain, no matter what, when I've achieved my goals, my brain will still find something to freak out about, <laughs> which is great. Um, so yeah, I've just been trying to really enjoy it and to not get myself worked up into a frenzy and to feel super stressed about it. I've just been like working a lot more calmly and I feel, and like, feeling like there's enough time to do what I want to do which is partly because I've planned in such a way that I have a lot of constraint I'm only working on one thing at a time and um, I'm batching things together and it's just a totally different experience there's so much like there's no overwhelm it's just the best thing which is the most exciting thing for me because when I was um going through some of your emails and just the way you guys are talking about overwhelm that's exactly how I used to feel and I still can feel it sometimes but I know how to like what causes it and how to get myself out of it and that it, it's mainly to do with the mind but also like practical things so yeah it's just been really interesting and I'm really glad I've been filming me talking about it for my sake of um, I don't know how interesting this stuff has been to you guys that don't have vlogs or your own business, but I know so many of you want to have them. But just for me to be able to look back and be like, oh, remember how much you were struggling and like, this is how that was for you because it's so easy like when you get to the other side to totally forget what it was like before you got there. So yeah, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you're really well. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.